Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with another Rhodes Campaign Hot Seat episode in RTR Imperium Surrectum with Rather Incoherent. And if you want to know how we got here, of course, go and check out Rather Incoherent's last video. And today, yes, Rain has taken Carthage, which is pretty insane. Fair play. I just thought it was, you know, I couldn't be bothered with Elephant Man over there anymore, to be honest. He was just over here doing nothing, so I thought we might as well take Carthage. I'm sure we got a bit of money out of that. And the army is on this boat, and it does look like we're going towards Rome, so I am going to continue going towards Rome and just scout it out. So we're going to come over here and just have a look. Like, I don't think we are actually going to try and take Rome. But we shall have a look anyway. Ellis is really, really bothered about the Aetolians at this point. So we're going to keep on going against Ellis. We've got plenty of places building. I mean, now Kratis is nearly at level 3 Rodian recruitment. And then that will allow us to get Rodian Slingers if we get this missile range. So that's another 6 turns. So 8 turns until that's done. Um, over here, however, three turns until this practice range is done in Saiz. So I think we're going to be able to get Rodian Slingers then, which will be absolutely amazing. I'm going to have to go check through some of these garrisons and try and get all the Slingers out of them if they are in there. Because I think, yeah, there they are. They're in Saiz already. So we're going to have instantly four more units of those boys ready to go sometime soon. That's going to be absolutely amazing. Everywhere else, decent garrisons, got the right amount of troops in, as we can see. Uh, a few large garrisons down south, especially like this one, for example. So let's get them out and retrained. Where is the closest place we can actually retrain to here? I think Memphis. Yes. Let's get in there then. Let's have a look in Memphis. Can we retrain these boys? Yes, we can. Let's get them retrained then straight away. This army is going to head down south and take all of these nice juicy cities. I mean, Ptolemaeus Hermayu over here is a large city already, which is insane. That's going to be so good to take for us. I'm also going to budge this spy down. I'm going to follow these roads here because there is a city out here in the desert. And as you can see... so. When we talk about the AI, guys, the AI generally, unless they're doing a naval invasion, will only attack cities that it borders. But you can see this border is huge and has about a million cities here. So the AI technically could want to take any of these cities that border this little area of land. There's also a little border here with our Sinoclisma. So ideally, I want to take these two cities. Now, they're not going to be very rich at all. That's the problem. They're not going to be rich. They are not going to be powerful, but at the same time, I mean, there's one there, but that might be this area here. Um, so, yeah, they're not going to be very rich cities, but what it's going to allow us to do is to know we're safe in, like, most of these areas. Apart from, okay, yeah, maybe not that side, but it's one side where they're not going to be able to come across over there as well. Now, we have this army kind of stuck in the fort walls over here, which is great. I love to see that, but we've got three big bad full stacks over this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this army onto the bridge and I'm going to hope that this army attacks us in the end turn. And I don't know whether it's going to bring in all three because they're a tile away. So I don't think it would. So that's good. But this army, if we look at this army here, this army is actually really good. The, uh, the Ptolemies seem to have got their recruitment up and running now. Like, these guys, these uh, these phalangites, we really don't have an answer to without the slingers. So, it would be nice to try and get a few more of those slinger boys in the army very soon. This army is going to keep coming south because we can basically just keep retraining this army as much as we want. Here's Red Zed from the future, guys. And um, I may have forgotten to do the session summary sentence, so you're getting it now from my future perspective but here it goes if you don't look at the eastern fort wall or the egyptian navy or the alien military then we're on top of the world unfortunately all of them are looking at us so is carthage they're furious apparently elephant man took more than elephants when he left their shores the egyptians have finally learned to make phalanxes instead of more paper cavalry thankfully at this point we're used to muttering this is fine in the face of certain death 
So while this is terrible, it is also basically the norm. That said, it's started to feel more like a fort fence lately, and the Egyptians are getting uh, mighty good at climbing it. We should probably do something about them. So we're going to do that over in Ellis, however. We do have one battle to do, and that is to take Messene. Ellis also has Tegea up here as well. Nice. Quite a good little, uh, good little settlement here. It's got no mining. I thought it might have a mine, but that's fine. We may have to just go after Sparta, <laughs> but they're too busy at the minute. So let's go for this battle. We've got a single ram ready to go. We do have two units of the Slingers and Neocretan Archers as well. Sorry, Mercenary Cretan Archers, not Neocretans. Only one unit of infantry, but with their troops, Ephebes and Greek Peltas, we should be okay, hopefully, if I don't do anything stupid, which I've been known to do in this series so far. So <laughs> let's get into the battle, though, guys. Let's get going. Well, here they come with the first unit that they have which is the Greek Peltas, so hopefully they're not going to be able to fire at us properly and they just charge into the fight. So let's go. Let's go for them now. We've got a cavalry coming round, and I think if we can get our cavalry in the fight here for, with a nice little charge, we should be able to break these guys rather easily. We've got our slingers coming up this way. Hopefully they'll be able to fire on the Ephebes, and I'm also getting these Neocretans in here to fire into the back of them if we get to that point, but I don't think it'll be too difficult. That was not a charge, my friends. <laughs> what even was that? Here comes the general, at least. God, are you going to give us a charge, guys, or, or what? Are these guys going to fire? Uh, get the fire at Willem. There we go. Firemen, maybe? You're facing... Okay, I was going to say, it looks like you're facing the wrong way. Uh, didn't really do much damage, I'm not going to lie. But I'm hoping we can completely crush these guys. Let's get the cavalry out for a second. Just get out. Especially the general. We do not want to lose that general over here. Because we don't have many around this way. So let's come out. Are the archers firing? Ideally, we don't want them to fire for a second. There we are. Get in there. Get in there, men. You guys, come on. Fire away. How many, how many missiles are actually hitting there? It doesn't look like any. Come on. Right, cavalry. Let's go for a charge. This time it better be a good charge, not just an absolute terrible one. Rally the men. He's already at the back, to be fair. But let's get these guys broken. Shaken. Come on. Really? Really? God, this firing is awful. Surely you can fire a few more missiles than that, my friends. There's like two going into them, and they're not even hitting them. Good lord. Right, let's get out with the cavalry. They're taking too much damage now, and we'll just use our archers. So, let's fire into the back of the Greek Peltas. There you go. And we'll see when these guys break. Now they've broken, so that's fantastic. We're going to keep the hoplites here, ready to engage the Ephebes. And then I think we're just going to use the archers as the main weapon against these guys. Because they seem to be the best option right now. Just shoot the Ephebes. You guys get engaged in them. You guys can actually fire at these Greek Peltas when they come by. Fire at them. Come on. Get engaged, my friends. Get engaged. Get engaged. You've got someone on the town square. You shouldn't want to do anything else. What are they doing? Like, are they going after the Neocretans? Guys, like, will you actually run after them or just stand there? <laughs> you imbeciles. Honestly, this fucking... Just stop stopping there. What, what are you doing? You idiots. Honestly. Jesus Christ, man. Why are you so dumb sometimes? Let's get these guys forward again. You guys fire there. You guys, are you firing here? Good, good. You actually are managing to fire for once. Come on, catch them. Catch them. Well, we'll leave them for now and we'll try and bait them off again. Well, here they come again. They've been baited once again, our guys do not want to get into formation, though, as you can see. At least fight these guys, come on. And then we can fire into the Ephebes. They don't really know what to do. That's the problem at the minute. They're kind of running between both ways. Guys, are you going to fire or, or what? Fire, there we go. Lost a couple there. Let's get out. Let's get out. I don't think these guys are going to be able to do anything. Guys, run. Yes, there we go. 
Fantastic. I think they're going to turn now. Yep, fire at them again. I really don't know what they're doing. They're just bouncing around, but if they're going to keep on doing this, we will keep doing this until they are dead, guys. And finally, we have won. So we did have to bait them in with the archers a little bit. So we lost a couple of archers, but they are mercenaries, so they are very expensive anyway. So I don't even mind losing a few of those boys. But yes, a glorious victory. Another alien town is ours. A glorious victory. And let's just occupy Messene over here. It's not the greatest of towns, but it's not awful either. It's actually just needs upgrading. That's a little bit annoying. I'm not going to lie. Um, but let's pop that in. Let's also leave. And I'm potentially thinking of leaving just the Tarantine Cavalry. I know they're quite useful overall. But let's put it on low. Let's see what mercenaries are now available. Just the Greek Peltas. That's not ideal. Let's have a look. Anyone else? I mean, we're going to have to take them for now because we do not have many troops at all in this army. So I kind of want to go for Tegea over here. I know it's going to make us border the Spartans a little bit more than maybe we'd want to. However... You know, I don't want to fight this army. We definitely can't fight this army. Jesus, at the minute, definitely not. Uh, trade increase for Mechistes. More command. Fantastic. That is very good. Any more mercenaries available over here? No, not at all. But, I mean, it's a relatively okay army. It's just very much lacking in infantry. However, we can start recruiting some Rhodian hoplites over here once it comes into Olympia, that building. Oh, no, we can't. We cannot. We do not have a barracks there. So that is a little bit annoying. It would be nice to get one in here because it's got a barracks and a practice range. But we need to upgrade it as well. Actually, here in Leprion would be a fantastic one to build. So let's build that straight away. That's going to cost us a little bit of cash. So then let's have a look. Where else do we want to build? We've got one place, Carthage rioting. Yep, that, that makes sense. <laughs> Um, and then our Sinoclysma, let's go for, say, like the sewers. So let's end the turn, guys, and let's see what happens. And a candidate for adoption, that's pretty darn good. Where is he? He's in Alexandria. I think he actually made it more unhappy. Let's get him out. Yes, he did. Uh, not the greatest of governors then, so I think we'll probably add him to this stack. I mean, that army is just going off. By itself, I think we're going to have to take that fight, honestly. Um, they have swapped their guys around over here, though. But as long as this army does nothing, it's, it doesn't really matter that it's there. <laughs> Carthage has revolted back. Looks like it has gone to Carthage, which is a little bit unfortunate. I would have preferred if it had gone to a rebel. That would have been fantastic. Um, Ah, uh, unfortunately, Mantes went to the Olympics, but he lost. You know, we can't all be winners, man. We can't all be winners. That's that's fine. Lots of buildings being built. Rhodian recruitment in Olympia. Let's check what we can build there now. Just pretty much Akontistai and Greek Slingers. So we'll pop one of those in, and we'll also pop in a barracks, because, of course, we need a barracks. And we cannot get any more mercenaries, unfortunately. Um, but that big army is just standing there. I don't know why. I mean, Ellis needs to deal with the Aetolians as well. Um, but it is just a mess over here, isn't it? <laughs> it is chaos. Chaos on the Peloponnese. As usual. As usual, to be fair. Right, let's get our boats up and around this way to scope out Rome. I mean, I don't really want to take Rome. <laughs> but it would be kind of cool to have had... You know, we'd have taken Carthage, Alexandria, and Rome in this playthrough. So, three of the jewels of the Mediterranean right there. First of all, though, let's have a look for this settlement. So apparently it is that settlement there. I also want to check this one over this way. Where actually is this one? Is it further north or further south, do we reckon? Further south? Yeah, Philoterra over there. And Arabike Kome. I mean, it's probably worth coming down over here first. Then going across, just jumping across, taking these two. And then we've pretty much got all of this area secured then. So let's come down all the way as far as we can. We're going to go after Lycompolis, which is a minor city. I am slightly worried that the Egyptians are just going to keep on, you know, baiting us out over here. 
Let's also bring this guy all the way over that. What is Nabatea doing? Honestly, like, why are you over here, man? You don't border us anywhere. So why would you come all the way over here? I'm going to leave this guy on the bridge for now, I think. That's probably the option. Um, we should also do this battle, definitely. It's probably going to be a very much bait and switch battle once again. Well, they've got another army coming from over that way, but it is a, is a, it is a trash one. Now, are we recruiting? Yes, we are. Fantastic. Let's see what else we can recruit. There's a few other places. Let's get that in there. Oh, no, it is already recruiting, so I don't need to worry about that too much. And we do have another couple of recruitment hubs, don't we? Let's get another Rodian. Oh, no, you're recruiting still. Good. Fantastic. Well, we've got a good amount of recruitment going on. Let's keep on recruiting, though. Same thing in Memphis. Just so we've got more and more troops. We do need more troops. I know we are not making an absolute fortune or a load of money at the minute. But it should be fine. And we should also want to send these Egyptian skirmishers down south to garrison some of these places. Because they've got good garrisons in there at the minute of good troops that we can actually use. Compared to the Egyptian slingers, of course. Or Egyptian skirmishers, should I say. Let's have a look at Rhodes. Are we building in Rhodes? We are. Fantastic. And Lindos. Very nice indeed. Very, very good. Um, so, anything we want to do up here? Apart from buildings-wise, not really. Let's just check our buildings then. Prosopis over here. You do have a little bit of a recruitment hub here. So, I think we start building up the, hmm, we start building up the infrastructure in here. So, let's build a city barracks, or do we go for the second Rhodian recruitment? I mean, it's really pointless getting that. Like, we don't want to recruit any of those units, so, hmm. And then Rhodian recruitment one as well is just good for the hoplites, so it is kind of pointless upgrading that, although, you know, every little helps, and over time, it's going to help us out. So, I tell you what, we'll go for the... Uh, so expensive for the city barracks, though. Hmm. How much money is this making? 1,700. That's not too bad. 74 for that building. Nothing for that, of course. The market, 21. Not ideal. And this is 5,000 for not much money. So, it's really not, not worth that at all. Uh, the roads, again. Prosopis. You don't really need roads there. So, let's go for the city barracks then, like we were saying before. I think that's still the best option there. And Arthribis over this way. Hmm. Again, similar thing. Not really worth building anything, apart from maybe the Shrine to Poseidon for that extra trade. Um, over here in Tanis is a little bit upset, so we're just going to pop that down for now. Alexandria, let's have a look. Probably get the Shrine to Poseidon there too. And I think that's all our money. So, yes. And we've moved everyone we want to. So, let's do this battle again. And, yeah. I probably will just edit this out, guys. Or edit it very, very quickly. So, you don't see too much. Because it's going to be exactly the same as what we've done previously. Just trying to bait these guys off the town square. God damn, these Ephebes can just fire their missiles while in melee. It is fucking annoying <laughs> when I cannot do that. I think there's a way to do it. You're like, I think you press alt attack and then attack again and they will do it. But yeah, a little bit annoying that they can just do that while we're fighting them. So we're going to take a little bit of revenge here and absolutely pummel them with our javelins in the back. They should be shaken now, definitely. But it's going to be difficult without many melee troops. So we're going to have to really rely on the missile infantry here. Come on, Peltas. Let's get rid of these guys. Last couple of volleys. There we go. Very nice. I'm going to bring one guy back over this way as well. There we go. You don't need to fire anymore. Just run into them. And again, like I say, it's going to be quite difficult without many melee troops in here. But we're going to try it anyway. Well, here comes the general. Let's try and fire into his back, of course. Are these guys both able to fire? Yes, they are. So let's fire into the general for now. Looks like the Ephebes might come after us, but that's fine. We'll get these guys out if they do. So, well, will you go like over there, please, guys? I don't want to get fired at with the Javis, of course. Um, would you mind going? Like, that would be nice. So, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. 
Okay, here come the javelins. Apparently, they can go miles, those javelins. <laughs> I don't know how that's happened, but yeah, apparently they go miles, so that's fine. Not bothered by that at all. <laughs> Great. I would prefer these Neo Cretans to take any amount of damage, if possible, rather than anyone else. These guys should be able to fire on whoever they want. So go for the Ephebes for now. Yeah, getting absolutely savage there. Very good indeed. I cannot believe those missiles there. That was insane. But yeah, keep firing on those boys. Looks like our hoplites are taking a bit of a battering over here. But it's fine. We're going to grind this guy, that guy down eventually. These poor Ephebes are stuck between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> Getting absolutely shredded from behind by the missiles, but also shredded from the front by our melee troops. So hopefully our guys keep on firing. Do not want to lose many of these guys to the melee troops. I don't know how they can do this split with their <laughs> with their army and just go one side and another. Looks like they're going to throw some javelins. Come on, really? They're literally in melee, and yet you can fire more javelins. You absolute bastards, honestly. Just, just stop. <laughs> Why are you so dumb? Oh, my God. Right. Fantastic. Glorious victory, anyway. We killed a lot more than we lost. Our melee troops took the most of the damage there, especially the hoplites. But they fought through. We just need some more mercenaries available somewhere nearby. Please, please find us some glorious mercenaries. And again, we're just going to occupy, keep these people very happy. Going to destroy this recruitment here. That gives us a little bit of extra cash. And we are going to leave this settlement straight away. Reason being, if Sparta comes and sieges us down here, we're absolutely screwed. So I'm going to leave the mercenary hoplites in there for now. And we're just going to go on a little bit of a, a journey for some mercenaries. How happy are you? Not incredibly happy, I've got to say. Um, <laughs> but hopefully after the unrest is gone, we should be okay. So, no mercenaries there. What about in here? No mercenaries there either. Hmm. Well, I think we'll retreat to Leprion for now because that's a safe option for us. So, let's go for that one. And then over here, what are we doing? Nothing else. So, let's end the turn and let's see what happens. And Carthage wants a ceasefire. That is fantastic. And they're going to give us nearly 7,000 denarii for it. Fantastic. Okay. Absolutely. How about a trade rights as well, my friends? Even though we've got zero relationship. And yeah, they, they won't take an alliance. So <laughs> let's try and scam some map information off them. Maybe like 2,000. That's about balanced. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> Loads of money from the AI. And another general, Pythagoras. I definitely want to take him. And again, he goes in Alexandria and makes it more unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, again, we'll probably use you as a general stack for some cavalry. Actually, we don't have enough in here. Hmm. Well, let's... I think that the cavalry is more valuable than anything else. I mean, the Nubian spearmen are not great. But uh, we'll take the Macedonian hoplites out because we'll use those Nubian spearmen as bait, really. The uh, hoplites can come down south towards there. This guy can probably go down south as well as a garrisoning commander. As a governor, should I say. And these guys, we're going to just go for Lycompolis by ourselves. They've got hoplites in there. Sorry, they've got phalangites in there, which is not ideal. But looking at this, we are just going to basically, you know, keep bopping between these two bridges. Because until this army does anything, there's no need to really take it out. I mean, if they're just going to, like converge here and do nothing like I don't see the point of attacking them so let's go over here let's pop onto that bridge and let's see whether this army will then attack us it's somehow got Galatian swordsmen in this army so I have no idea where this army has come from has it marched all the way back around to deal with us that would be hilarious if it has <laughs> so that is fantastic and Ellis has actually sieged us down a little bit which is kind of funny um, so, yeah, I'm considering taking the two generals out with this army. Please tell me there are some mercenaries available somewhere. Yes! Fantastic. Thurio Foroy in there. How about in here? Anything? No. 
Hmm. I mean, we have a lot of movement points, so I might as well explore. Wait, what? Where's... Oh, our movement points are gone. It doesn't really matter, though, because, of course, um, these guys are not going to have built any siege equipment yet. Yes, as we can see. So no siege equipment from them. And, of course, we are at peace now with Carthage. We got some more ships in these navies. What is that navy? Oh, well, go away. There we go. Glorious victory. Let's join them up. Why? Why? <laughs> I hate it when it does that. <laughs> there we go. I know there's a, an admiral in there, but that's fine. Good. Right then. What else have we got? We've got some construction going on. Bubastis has upgraded. Very nice. <gasps> yes, now, Kratis. Very good indeed. We can start getting some Epibates here. Now, that is what I love to see, my friends, because Epibates are very good. And we're also going to get that missile range in there, of course. Did we finish? No, one more turn. And then hopefully we can retrain those Rodian boys and we will be ready to go. Bubastis has upgraded as well. I think, honestly, building the roads around here is not a bad option. Just gives us some more movement through these lands. So let's just pop that in for now. Our Sinoclysma don't really need to build anything there. That's absolutely fine. We have sieged this down, haven't we? And we've moved across to there. That is no problem. And up here in Ellis, we are moving around. And let's have a look at our Roman boy. Syracuse looks like it's doing a very good job. So I wonder, I do wonder if Rome is going to be protected at all. It is. And it's got a decent army there. That's, yeah. I, I don't think that that is the option or the plan. I think, honestly, the best thing to do is probably to come back to... Um, to the Peloponnese and bolster our armies there with some elephants. I think the Peloponnesians will be a little bit frightened, which would be fantastic. So let's bring that army back over that way. If Rain wants to go and try and take Rome, I have no problems with that at all. I think that would be quite funny. Uh, but yeah, it, it'll be a good little um, experiment. But for now, I'm going to bring those guys back as well. That's 69%, but it's only got one more turn until that's done. So that should be fine. These guys, too, need to keep coming down to garrison some of these cities and replace maybe like that. You guys go in there and replace them. We do have some decent amounts of armies now. So I am going to keep on training as many as possible. Because like I say, best thing that, that, uh, that we can do is keep training more troops just to fill more armies. Maybe make a third stack at this point. So we, I mean, we're pretty close to being able to get a third stack. And now we can get Epibates as well. That's going to be absolutely superb. So let's keep that going. Let's keep on training as many troops as we can. Memphis too, keep on going. Uh, we're actually training in there already. That's fine. Uh, this army, like I say, don't know where it's going. And if it just runs off, that is excellent for us. So let's end the turn there, although we can do a little bit of building. So let's just check. We are building in a lot of places. Let's actually build in some of the places that we have just taken because they're kind of worthless at this point unless we can build them up slightly. Is it worth getting that in pro uh, Sophis? Not at the minute, at least. Megalopolis is a minor city, and it does have... A militia barrack. So it is probably worth getting that Rodian recruitment in there for now. This one, Nessos. So can you badoop badoop a Nessos? Let's go for sewers. And Arsino over here. Yeah, let's get us trying to Poseidon. It'll make him slightly happier. Fantastic. Right, let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. Another candidate for adoption. I mean, we're getting a lot of them at the minute. And again in Alexandria. And again, he reduces the happiness in here. Well, I think, honestly, the best thing we can do is maybe try and put together a new army. We're going to meet up in Saiz. And... F what? 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 Oh, it was a... <sighs> We've only got the first level in Saiz. I could have sworn we had the second level. Good lord. No. Well, Saiz, you're just going to have to get pretty unhappy. I really don't care about growing you right now. Five more turns until we can get Rodians over here. God damn. How many turns are we into the game? About 60. And we still haven't got the third level of our troops. It is so, so difficult now 
to build up your recruitment hubs. It is ridiculously difficult <laughs> to get some good troops in new areas in the game. Unless you are taking cities that already have all the infrastructure built. But even then, you're still looking at, you know, 7 plus 6 plus 5. So 18 turns just to get up to level 3, which is insane. Because by that point, you are, you know, you don't have any way <laughs> of getting any good troops at all. Um, but yeah, okay, we've got some trait increases. That's fine. And let's make sure we are queuing in new troops straight away in these places. Memphis 2. Let's let's get another one. Heroon Polis over here. Let's get another one of those. And Olympia, we got an Akontistai, so let's keep on going with that. And that is, unfortunately, all our money. Lots of markets going in, though, which is really good. Fantastic. Do we have any more mercenaries available? Let's pop into here again, and let's see. No, nothing at the minute. Now, Ellis has been kind of dumb. I don't know why they have done this, but fair enough. They've done it, so... <laughs> Um, I mean, we should be able to beat that Zistaforoi uh, with this army. So that's the one person I'm slightly worried about. We'll get the Greek Peltas in there too while we can. And what else do we have in our garrisons around here? I mean, a general, that's fine. Uh, Olympia, you fine? Yeah, you're happy. So that's good. What's happening over here? I mean, Thessalos here. I think Thessal... Where did they all go? What? Where did they all go? <laughs> Where's my spy? I've got a spy over here somewhere. Um, right, spy, spy, spy. Yes. We've got this guy. I don't want him to move. Let's have a look at Panos Polis. This guy, yeah, he can stay here too. This guy's had a look down the coast. Let's bring him back up because I would like to see where they've all gone. And it looks like they're all here. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. This army, too, is all the way down south. Um, so we could go for that fight. Nabatea is coming in with some stacks, but I don't know what they're doing. So I think going after Thessalos is probably the option at the minute, unless we go down south a bit further. Uh, but that's fine. Let's get these guys. So these guys are going to go into there. You're going to keep coming down, my friend. You're going to get there, and you're going to swap out this unit. And you can maybe then replace them as well. We're going to keep coming down. Reinforcements for the army. We're going to do that fight as well. So we've got a few fights to do. We've got that one. We've got to choose between Thessalos and this one. If we have if we have our diplomat, where are you? You're in Pontus. You're in Adrissia. Ooh. I would love to get uh, re-up that alliance with the uh, Nabataeans. Uh, we could scam some money off these guys, actually. Let's do that for now. How big is their treasury? They're wealthy, so let's try 5,000. Very demanding, okay. Well, maybe not 5,000 then. How about 3,090? 3,090. Demanding, I guess. We can't scam much money off them then. 2,000, maybe. Demanding. We'll, we'll just put that out there. That's fine. Um, and then, yeah, I would really like a diplomat to go talk to Nabatea right now. So we might have to recruit one of those. So we do not have the money. They cost 750 Well, if we take these settlements and beat these armies, that'll be fine. Um, so ship, let's get you moving, my friend. All the way over here. I want you to get in there. That wouldn't, wouldn't be ideal. Yeah, you'll have to drop off like over this way, probably. Because I don't want this army getting killed by the alien ships right now. What about our ships? Do we want to do anything with them? I mean, it's a fairly decent navy right now. So I'm wondering if we do actually go for getting some more slingers in the mix. Either on the Peloponnese or elsewhere. I think on the Peloponnese would be good. But we do need some more infantry here. That is the main thing. Hmm, lots of lots of things to think about, but let's just go for these first battles against Ellis. This should be really easy, so let's go for this one. A nice and quick one for us. And Ellis just wasted our time by withdrawing. Thank you, Ellis. Fantastic. So I'm not sure where that army went, but it didn't go into this army. So let's get rid of these guys to start with. 
It's Zista 4 Eye Slingers and Thurio 4 Eye. So I'm hoping we'll have enough here. I mean, they've only got one infantry unit as well. I'm hoping we can just skirmish with them for a little while and then use our cavalry. So let's see what we can do. Let's get into the battle. Well, here comes the first unit of Zista 4 Eye. Don't know what they're doing, but hopefully we can absolutely shred them, which looks like we're going to be able to. Very nice indeed. Just going straight for the charge. Kind of dumb, not going to lie. So let's get into them. That's their general as well. So you guys don't fire yet. No need to. So let's just keep going. And we're also firing down into these units down here, which is excellent. So this Zista 4 Eye should die pretty darn easily. That's their slingers getting absolutely shredded at the moment as we see the stones flying into them. Very nice indeed. Ideally, I want to kill that Thurio 4 Eye though. But there we go. The general's running. That's great for us. So you guys turn off that for now. That's their general dead. Good. Very good. Let's bring the Thurio 4 Eye slightly forward. And let's keep skirmishing with them. And goddamn, Ellis is running away again. Which is very, very annoying. Really annoying, in fact. Let's try and get in their path with these Phalangites. And we're also going to send our cavalry to deal with those boys down there. I'm going to bring these guys around. We're also going to get them around as well. So let's do that. Should be easy, easy pickings now for these boys. So let's get in there and fire into the back of them. We'll also get these guys ready to fire in. Yes, they, they did take it. They did take the fight. Let's go then. Let's go. Probably send you that way. And the other, the other way. Good. Now fire. Now fire. And we'll also get these guys in the back too. Should be a nice, easy victory here. They are double silver experienced. And like I said, I don't really care about this unit dying. That's fine. As long as we catch this Sister 4 eight out, that'd be excellent. But, oh, they've just managed to get... They've just managed to get away. No. Are we going to be able to catch them? How tired are these guys? They're warmed up. We're still going for the charge, though. I think we might catch them, you know. We might catch both of these units. Good. Well, let's get these guys dead. Uh, if, you know, you catch up to them. But we'll go for the Zista 4 actually. I don't mind this 29 escaping. I think we'll be able to kill enough of everyone else. How are we doing here? You guys charge them in the back. Are you guys firing or not? Fire one volley, at least. And then I think we're good. Should be able to break these boys. Fully surrounded now. You guys stop. You guys get down over that way. How are we doing in this fight over here? 31 versus 25, and we are a lot better than them. So should be a little bit easier to get rid of that Zista 4 eight. But there we go. Nice victory, guys. A good victory for us in the end, and that should be enough, hopefully, to have fully killed this army off. Hopefully, we shall see, I guess. So let's get back on that campaign map, guys. And a glorious victory there, my friends. There's nothing really we can do right now with this army. I mean, oh, although that's a cheeky little draw out battle there. But yeah, <laughs> who am I kidding? There's no way we can win that with this army. It is not the greatest of armies. So hmm, let's come back over this way just so that we can retreat if we need to. If they do come and attack us here. We can retreat. I mean, a, a fort here would probably block them off there too and stop them coming after us. But, hmm, I'm not 100% sure on that one. So let's go over this way. And I think it's time to attack Thessalos over here. Let's go for the attack. But why are they getting helped by Nabatea? Nabatea is neutral to us. But let's have a look at Nabatea then diplomatically. What? Why? <laughs> Let's look at the Ptolemies. Are they a protectorate? No. They're allied with Nabatea. Are you kidding me? That is so dumb. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like, Nabatea, you are sworn enemies. It's like the Seleucids as well. Why would the Seleucids not be attacking them? Good lord. Good lord. Terrible, terrible scenes over here. Nabatean scum trying to come to scummy... Uh, victory of the Ptolemies. I do not like that at all. Um, but let's go for Lycon Polis then. I think next turn what we'll do is we will run away unless we get fully surrounded here, which may happen. Like I said, I don't want to... I mean, it's not much of a Nabataean army, that is it. 
This this army has 100% come from, <laughs> from Anatolia. That is how bothered they are by us right now. <laughs> look at that army. I mean, when you look at this army, we've got Lydian archers, which are quite decent. The carrying infantry is, is very good. Um, infantry. I don't think they're armor-piercing, are they? No, they're not armor-piercing. But 14 melee attack is pretty darn good. They've also got Silesian pirates that aren't quite as good. But, yeah, the Galatian warband as well is not fantastic. Neither is the Galatian swordsman. So maybe we can beat that quite easily. Um, when I say quite easily, not easily at all. But let's go for it. Let's go for the fight, my friends. I am going to try and just preserve the Rhodian slingers as usual. And we shall just do the standard technique of fully trying to surround this army. Let's go. Okay, they are not fully on top of the map, which is great. What is the reinforcement? Oh, it's a uh, some Libyan skirmishers. I don't think that's going to be too useful, I'm not going to lie. But what we're going to do, we're going to try and get up on this hill here. I am not going to try and attack them over a hill. We've seen how badly that goes uh, in, a, in a few of our battles. So for now, we're just going to bring all these guys up this way and do what we can to try and turn their flank. Oh, hello. I did not see this army in the side here. So we're going to have to uh, send a detachment to try and deal with them. And that is going to be probably these guys. Let's bring these guys over this way. And we'll also bring the horse archers. They can do some dirty work too. And the rest of these boys, let's keep coming. They are, they're coming though. God. Well, let's go. Let's retreat. Let's retreat. There's no need to carry on going forward if it's going to be this messy. So let's retreat back up the hill. What is going on with the slingers? Let's get them all the way back up the hill. I know it's a bit of a uh, bit of a mixed move there, but I think we can try and just turn these guys constantly. We'll get you guys over this way too, and we're going to keep on doing that. Just trying to turn them. These guys are going to get a little bit, little bit tired, but it's fine. So here we are. That's a lot better. Like, I think this is a good chance to say, you know, if you commit to a plan, guys, you don't need to commit to it fully. If you have enough time to react, go and react to that mercenary heavy carrying infantry over there. They don't have spears, so they should be a little bit better against our guys. Uh, hmm, against our cavalry. They should be a, bit, a little bit worse against our cavalry, to be honest. But uh, let's turn then so we are not, you know, taking it in the flank there. Uh, and, you know, we've got our guys here ready to fight the Arab Spearmen. Let's try and get around them here and fully surround them. We are firing at their, you know, camel archers because they are one of the best units they have. Uh, and they just do a lot of damage overall. Uh, so you guys come forward. You guys get in the fight too. If you guys would get over there, that would be excellent. And now we have to face the wrath of the rest of the Ptolemaic army. So this has been a little bit more challenging than I was originally anticipating. I'm not going to lie. As soon as our slingers start taking losses, we are going to leave. Um, so you guys get around there. Not leave, but, you know, not... Uh, no, don't don't run that way. Kill them. Kill them. We are getting engaged all along the front line now. So we are going to bring our cavalry into the fight here. What are these? Silesian pirates? I feel like we can hold the line pretty darn well. I'm going to put all of these guys on guard mode for now. Um, unless we are using a flanking unit, which is what we're going to use in a second. What are you? Galatian skirmishers. Not the best units, probably, but we can come and do a little bit of more fighting. I'm thinking you run through there, and you two, let's go into the Ptolemaic, infant, uh, Ptolemaic guards. Kill them all. These guys, some of them are taking a bit of a battering here. You fire at them. You guys, I don't know where we want to fire now. Probably that mercenary Asian cavalry. That's the Nabataean general deaded, which is great for us. Here comes the Silesian pirates. Okay, we've we've uh, we've routed the Arabs, which is great. Um, this unit here needs to get out, probably needs to get out, and we need to go and save them with our Agathostratos because they have another general over this way, uh, Timarchos the Kind. And this guy should hopefully die, Thessalos. That'd be excellent. I mean, I don't know where he's going right now. He's going behind the units. If we just get out of there for a second, I don't want to take any damage from skirmishers for no reason. 
Look at them. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, if they want to charge these guys, that's no problem for me. Uh, we're not going to be able... To... Actually, we can. Let's go chase them down. Send a message to the uh, Nabataeans that we do not stand for such stupid behavior. Where is that general gun? Oh, he's charged in the back over here. That's... I mean, that's fine. But you guys, yeah, get in that fight there. Let's get you off guard mode. You guys as well can come off guard mode. And we're going to get around and kill these carrions if we can. All down the line, we seem to be holding okay. Okay, that is the Sarlos. Good, good. That's what we need. And if we can kill this second guy, that'd be great. Before these skirmishes come in, please. <laughs> now let's get out then. Get out. Okay, that is the those boys. We're going to keep coming around to flank. We're also going to flank with this unit here. I know it's not going to be the greatest of units, but it's fine. Who do we want to fire at then now? You guys are surrounded. Let's go after these uh, Galatian skirmishers then. This unit is fully dead. Don't really care about that. Where are we going? Oh, we're running away. Okay. Well, I think, honestly, you guys, let's get away. Let's get away. No need to have you in the fight anymore. So you guys get up that way. You guys come along this way. And we're going to try and charge the Galatians in the back there. Okay, we've broken through over here. Let's get rid of these boys then. Nice little breakage there. I don't know what they're doing with their phalangites. Not the best move you've ever seen in your life, <laughs> I've got to say. Now you guys might be able to come back without taking any losses. That's good. The Carrions are starting to waver. It's all about morale now, I think. We can, I mean, these all these skirmisher units are going to be incredibly annoying to deal with. But uh, I think we send this unit out to go and deal with them. Could you maybe route these guys in one fell swoop? Let's go. No, you, you pretty much just die on charge there. Um, <laughs> well, let's keep coming. These guys are all routing now, so get in the back of the Silesians. Let's keep coming around. Keep trying to flank. You guys too. Right, and in fact, we'll get you all off guard mode now, so you can chase whoever you want. Who's that? We'll, gil we'll deal with those Galatians now while we can. Should break them once again. They're very easy to break, these guys, as we've seen previously for ourselves, you know. <laughs> <They were> <laughs> 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 those guys are not ideal. They're not the best. So let's keep coming. You guys, I want you to go after, like, all the skirmisher units. What is that? That's an Asian spearman. We don't want to deal with that. So... These guys all breaking around the sides now, killing the carrions. You guys shoot at the Galatian swordsmen because they should want to leave now. You come around that way, deal with them. No, you, you, you're good. So, yes, they looks like they're withdrawing. So I will clean this up, guys, and then we'll get going. Well, one final charge, I think, guys, for this battle. Okay, they've already, they've already, they've already ran away. So I'm hoping we can uh, make these guys run away too through the routing. Looks like these guys have now gone. So let's kill them all. That should be fantastic. These, uh, you know, these Klorochoi are a lot tougher <laughs> than you originally think. They stick in the fight for an obscene amount of time. Good for them, but of course not as good for us. Overall, we have mopped up a lot of troops. So let's mop up everyone else and then we'll be good. Well, that's how the cookie crumbles, my friends. That was a marmalization. That was a glorious victory. I am very glad we managed to, uh, you know, escape back onto the hill. That really did sort us out there. But yeah, 2,300 casualties made there. The Thessalos army literally has five men left. <laughs> five heroic men that survived that battle there but some glorious glorious things there look at the slingers 200 200 very nice the nubian cavalry 364 that is mainly because they were running down but agothostratos himself 461 casualties inflicted and only took two that kd phase kd once again my friends Phase KD. Amazing. Let's go. Well, I think that sends a message out to all of those foolish, foolish, foolish Nabataeans out there who have decided to side with the Ptolemies. Now, I have recorded for quite some time at this point. However, guys, I am not going to um, hand it over to Rain just yet because I am definitely not leaving him with a full stack army just in our lands. Like, that would just be cruel. 
So we are not going to do that. We are going to try and retrain as many of these boys as possible. Um, and yeah, we've got a lot to retrain. So let's see if we can uh, merge a few boys together. Let's go with that. That gets up to a silver experience now from that as well. And we got some more experience there too. Fantastic. That has allowed us to retrain everyone we can for now. However, let's cancel a few of our trainings that are going on. Um, if we have any or any buildings that have gone in brand new buildings anywhere I will have a look around and let's see if we can you know cancel a couple of buildings Just because we need that cash to retrain that army ASAP So I think new buildings went in over here So failing managing to find any buildings we could destroy because we actually haven't really built anything this turn I mean <laughs> Scamming money out of the AI. That's 100% what we've had to do here and it's a little bit unfortunate we can't get any more. Okay, we've got this, but I don't want to cancel that. That is... I mean, we do have one coming in now, Kratos. So it doesn't matter if it's an extra couple of turns. Hmm. I mean, we, we do have a lot of other troops around. I mean, we've got another one there. So actually, what we'll do, we'll pop the... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll merge that one into the troops then when we can. So that'll be good. That'll be better than what it, whatever else we're doing. So that's fantastic. I don't think we need to worry too much about anything else. So, in fact, we can cancel that unit. I don't want that one. I'd rather retrain someone else. So let's go for them. Very good. So, yeah, we do have a decent-sized army ready to take on that one. We've also got this battle to do. So let's do that. I'll probably do that as quick as possible off camera as well so yeah very quick because we are getting very very long on this episode now so uh yes let's get into this battle guys shouldn't be too difficult they've got some greek peltas and some good phalangite so if we can just break those boys that's where we're gonna find good rewards i have no idea what's happening but i just ran these guys through here and half the unit died like, it seems like the walls here are a little bit broken, I'm not going to lie. Okay, they'll go through if I do that. Hmm, very strange, very strange. There's something going on with these walls. Like, if I click over here... Okay, they're actually doing it now. They weren't before. I don't know why. It's very strange. Like, these guys were not shot. They all died pretty much instantaneously. So, I don't know what it, what it is. But you can see that they just don't want to run on these walls. Which is fine. I just don't want to get shot by that bloody tower. So, any walls that you can go... Okay, they can, it's certain areas they can go. So, I guess this settlement just has some, some dodgy walls. And these guys have now stopped, as you can see. So, yeah. Very strange. Very strange. Never seen that before. So, I'm guessing this, this settlement needs a bit of an update at some point. <laughs> ah, weird. Weird. Very weird. Uh, and it looks like... The floor is broken too. Like, I can't put them anywhere. And if I do... So, like, if I find somewhere where I can actually put them... Like, look at that. They they won't go there. It disappears. It disappears. They, it's impassable. They can't actually get there. Wonder this way? No. They can't get there either. So, what I may have to do, guys... Is may have to... Escape and then... Load back up because, yeah, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> There's just no way. Even if I press on the guys, they they won't they won't go in the city. They won't go in the city. That way? No. Like leave it. Like literally any of them. Mm -mm. Nope. Yeah, they, they they can't they can't enter. There's there's something going on here. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, probably escape this battle and then try and load back up and. Leave a bit of a, uh, a skeleton garrison for the siege here. And that's about it. So I'll see you back off this campaign map. So we are back here, guys, which is good. We're going to retreat from that battle for now. Hopefully, uh, because we engage the battle, we can't actually split off any more troops. But next turn I will do. How many turns? Six turns. I mean, what I'm going to suggest to Rain is just, you know, just sieging all these down and not taking the fights. Because it seems a bit unfair that he has to do all these crappy little... Uh, crappy little fights 
And there's no guarantee that those battle maps work either. So, well, this guy can definitely be one. So he can go straight over there to that one. And these guys are all getting retrained now. Fantastic. Right then, let's end the turn one last time. Have we moved our Ellis people? We have. And the boats, I see. Yes. Fantastic. One last time. And let's get into the next turn. And Pergameem is dead. That is interesting. I was not expecting that one. I'm assuming that was the uh, the old uh, Seleucids doing that. So, yeah. Pretty interesting. But, yeah, we need to get this ship across ASAP. I wonder whether the... Oh, we're blocked in here, are we? Oh, dear. Well, we're going to have to go round the bloody island. Let's go. <laughs> it's going to take... No, keep coming this way. You're blocked. You can't go through, my friends. You can't go through. Uh, where did that big alien army go? Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know. Are they dead? <gasps> well, that's glorious. That is very good for us because we can now go and try and take Ellis, which is a good city because it's got good uh, military buildings in there already, which is excellent. So what I'm going to try and do is get around the side here, so we're facing away from them if they do want to attack us. And we're going to siege that down. Very nice indeed. We are getting another Akontistai in there too. Glorious. Now, I do need to go back to Sais and make sure that we queue in. Oh, we have got them queued in. That is good. Very good. Let's make sure we get another Epibates in there too. And yeah, we are starting to build up another bit of an army over here. So I wonder, for rain, I'm going to combine them all together so we can see that there's another army there ready to go. Let's organize these troops too. And who do we have left? We've got a 31 in there. That's fine. What I'm thinking is if we get that guy there and that 31 in there too. Let's get them together. Anyone else still damaged? I think that's all of the hoplites actually. Fantastic. So let's get that and let's drag you. Control drag into there. Unfortunately not that many troops from that. You guys get back in there and there. Sorry, should I say not that much experience? Ah, there's a 42 as well. So hmm. Let's do the same thing then. Let's get you back out. Get the 42 into there. And yeah, let's uh, let's just uh, merge those boys together. So, and then we're going to go for that fight. I'm just going to retreat from it for now. I don't want to leave that army for rain at all. Another marriage. Good. Fantastic. And Paeonia and Adrisians and Roman Carthage have signed a ceasefire. Interesting, interesting. Lots of things being retrained in Memphis. Where else have we trained? So Saez has trained. So yeah, I'm going to get everyone together so he can see that we have another army pretty much ready to go now too, which would be very good. I could retrain those, but then we don't have anyone to garrison, although we were training some... I mean, I could swap in that Akontistai, I think. So yeah, let's retrain them as well. That's no problem. Let's go for that. And yeah, let's keep on training over there and there as well. So we're going to have a pretty darn good army, I'm not going to lie, very soon. We've definitely not got enough money to build anything. That's the other issue <laughs> that we have. Now, this unit, yeah, you can swap into there. You can come all the way down this way. And you, my friend, can go all the way to there. I'm not really very worried about that army. I don't think it, it's quite low. So it must be low on troops. I think we can still beat them with this army. So let's split off a few groups in here. I'm thinking every one of them should have some sort of missile troop. So you guys come around that way. We'll go for that. Build those ladders. You guys will swap out. One, two, three, four, five six i think hmm no we do need a missile troop here so let's swap out those boys and then i think that's still enough to beat whatever that is especially if we get this unit in there too so yeah let's swap that out one two three let's just go for four units and where's your path gonna be yeah go around that way and siege that down good i think I think that's a pretty good bit of a blitz siege there. 
Uh, plenty of units ready to go. Like I say, this, this area is broken. How long? Six turns for all of these, I'm assuming. Seven for that one, and eight turns for that one. Well, oh, look, there's gold here too, and copper. Well, that's in this area here, so I don't actually know where that settlement is. There's a nice little thin spout here down to uh, Hibis over here. Now, let's yes. bring our spy down further south so we can see if any more armies are coming. And you can see more large cities down here, so it's definitely worth taking this land 100%. Um, but yeah, they are just kind of milling around. I don't like Nabatea being there either. Let's have a look. Did we... Yeah, we've moved you. We've moved the boats. And yes. Fantastic. Well, let's do this final battle, my friends. The final battle of the episode. Let's get into this. It should be quite difficult with the amount of phalangites they have. But I'm hoping the map is good for us. We shall see. So let's get into this battle, guys. And let's see what happens. Agothos Stratos on a rampage once again. And it's one of these horrendous battle maps. <laughs> one of these horrendous battle maps. I mean, I'm hoping... You know, I think they're going to think they're harder than us. Oh my god. Why is it so lumpy? <laughs> like, this is impossible to organize your armies on something like this. Jesus Christ, man. This is crazy. <laughs> Let's group all these guys together. We're just going to, like chill towards the back of the map I think for now I mean we could even come onto this like massive behemoth of a rock over here <laughs> I think that's the option for now so let's do that let's get the slingers up on this massive bit of rock as well <laughs> these guys can go like here they'd be able to fire quite well we'll have the horse archers on this flank and the generals can just mill in the back for now and is that everyone? Let's see where they get to. They're, oh my god. Well, they are coming after us, so I'm very happy with that. Unfortunately, our reinforcements would come in behind them, but luckily they're not actually coming in. So let's see if they do come and attack us, because that is, of course, what we want to happen here. <laughs> so we have had to move up, and luckily they've come off this absolute mess, whatever this is. So... Let's move forward. I'm hoping we can try and force them to engage us with our slingers, as usual. So we are going to run forward with those guys. We're going to put it on normal speed now. We're going to bring the missile men forward to about here, and hopefully that will force them to come and engage us, which will be excellent. I'm going to keep those guys down there. I'm going to choose where we want to put our cavalry. Um, uh, probably the right flank, honestly, but this battle map is not made for cavalry, is it, my friends? <laughs> Not one bit. So let's get our guys forward. If we can fire into those phalangites, that'd be amazing. And hopefully force them into engaging us. Well, we've used all our ammunition on the slingers now. So it is definitely time to come forward again. But look at their position. Good positioning from the AI, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Pretty darn scary, to be fair. So we're going to try and outflank them quite significantly. So we're going to come forward all the way to there. Going to bring the uh, cavalry around this way too. And we're going to bring this cavalry around this way. And we're also going to get these guys into the fight here. If they can fire off the top of there, that'd be amazing. So, you know, engaging those phalangites is not going to be fun. But it is going to, uh, of course, you know, help us out uh, to get around them and flank them in the long run. Once we're in this position, I'm kind of going to hold until we can actually engage some of these units. So let's keep coming forward because I'm worried about that Matroy Foroid Cavalry. As we can see, they are coming all the way through. So let's keep on coming all the way around with these boys. Let's wait until the cavalry has engaged us themselves because they should die quite easily. I'm also going to put everyone here on guard mode and, and toggle that on, on and off depending on which you know person it is and what's happening. These guys should be on their fire at will now. So we're going to get you around that way. We're also going to bring you up this way too. And we're going to try and fold in on that flank. Let's get you off guard mode. You three off guard mode too. This is going to be a very micro-intensive battle. You can already see. You guys need to be firing into that mess there. Whatever that is. So let's keep coming guys. Let's keep coming around. You guys can get up there. That would be amazing. The poor Matroy Foroy is about to get absolutely destroyed. And dominated. Very nice. 
Let's bring this cavalry all the way across there. This is such a hard battle map to just judge what's happening here. Like, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh, dearie me. I feel like this is going to be quite a brutal battle map. What is this, though? Let's just fight that Prodromoy. I feel like we can beat that. So, there we go. You guys have gone there. Let's get you off guard mode now to fight and uh, destroy this Agima. So, this is all going to be on morale. If we can trap their general, where is their general? That's the main thing. Where actually is the general? Hmm. Hmm. I don't actually see the general at the minute. Where actually is that? Also, take that off. I don't... Why does it always come back on? There he is. I think he's going to die. That's going to be very good for us. This cavalry, unfortunately, at, the, at this point, is probably not worth doing anything with until that general dies. Because I do not want to charge the back of these phalangites. Because they love... They love to have a little, um, you know... Uh, I mean, we could charge this unit. That's the only unit I see right now that isn't protected by the phalangites. So let's go for that one. And everywhere else down the line, looks like we're doing okay on the right flank. The center is going to be the issue here. So again, we need morale. We need morale. We'll kill this Matroid Foroy there. You guys come forwards. Kill the Matroid Foroy. There we go. Broken. Let's just come back slightly. You can see the Phalangites just have an obsession with the uh, cavalry if they uh, get anywhere close to them. So ideally, we want to just kill that general and the cavalry there. Good. Fantastic. How is it going on this flank? Very good indeed. Lots of routing. So if we can get that Thurio Foroy broken, that'd be amazing. And we can actually clamp shut this, uh, this whole flank of the army. So let's keep coming, guys. Let's keep pushing on them. Some of these units are, of course, going to take an absolute battering here. But uh, it is necessary. It is necessary. Let's keep fighting. You guys fight them. You guys come forward. Let's get you off guard mode. You can come forward too. And then these guys, if we can kill all of them, that'd be amazing. Where is this unit? I think you need to chase down the enemy. This unit can, uh, you know, charge them. And we just need to fill that, uh, that flank off once we've killed all these boys. So kill them all. I know they're fighting to the death, but I prefer to kill them there than let them escape. Oh, uh, would I? Probably not, actually. So let's bring these units up this way if we can. If they can actually run through them, that would be amazing. And again, we are not charging into this uh, bristling pike wall here. Definitely not. That is not a good idea, my friends. <laughs> a terrible idea, in fact. And this is just a mess over here, really, in the center, isn't it? So we really do need to get that uh, charge off. Let's group this flanking force. If we can get, like, here, we should be able to fully clamp these guys shut. You guys fight, just fight. Don't want you charging in like crazy bastards again. That was a bit silly, wasn't it, my friends? A little bit silly. So, uh, yeah, let's get that Thurio Foroy when we've killed all the Matroi Foroy. These guys shouldn't have any problem now fighting these boys. Let's go kill those guys. No, 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 no. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of there. In fact, you guys can get in the back of there. We'll bring these boys across. Fact. Let's get you to there. And this unit that's struggling a little bit, you're going to go into the back of them. Let's in fact, get there with those boys. And it's all about just surrounding them now. And like I say, unfortunately... You know, I love to use cavalry, but this is one of those battles where it's it's not going to work to use them. They'll just all die on the charge, which is very unfortunate. You guys can now get off guard mode. Same with you. Come down here. Kill them. You guys, let's get you there if you can get there. You guys are not on guard mode, but I don't know what you're doing. So they're the general's still in the fight there. If we can kill him, that'd be great. You guys now get in there, and we've uh, surrounded this unit at least. This unit's, you know, facing the wrong way, so we don't need to do anything more. Where is my cavalry? Oh, they died. So that unit of cavalry has actually been killed by someone coming back from routing, which is not ideal, but I think we just need to clean these guys up, and then we'll be good, guys. So it shouldn't be much more tactical maneuvering. It's just pretty much killing the general and squishing these guys as much as possible. The general's now dead, so I am going to go for a cheeky little charge here. And they are all facing the wrong way, so hopefully they don't turn around. I'm going to rally Agatha Stratos so he doesn't do anything silly. We're just going to go for one charge in there, and then we're going to get out straight away. We're going to get out, because otherwise 
We're dead. We're dead, my friends, if we stay in there. So let's get out. Let's get out. And these guys, now that the phalanx came down, they actually managed to get in a lot closer. Unfortunately, all of these guys are kind of steady right now. So it's quite brutal, this battling at the minute. But we will continue to try and destroy the rest of the army. So uh, the full right flank has now been folded. So we now have the ability to fully surround these units again. And it is paying off. These guys are starting to lose morale quite heavily, which is very good for us. And these guys are fighting to their death, which I don't mind at all. Because it's going to allow us to, uh, you know, kill them all before they escape. So glorious. Let's keep on coming down this way. And let's surround this unit. And hopefully then we can get a mass route off. You can see one of the units is routing now. So let's go for the charge there with this unit in the, into there straight away. And see if we can break some more morale of these boys. Here we go. The mass routes have started, my friends. The mass routes have started. It's only the Agima that survives. So, uh, yeah. And there they go. They are dead now. So let's let them route. And then we'll mop up everyone else. Well, another glorious victory. On that battle map, I'm pretty happy with that result, to be honest. That is pretty crazy. A very good battle. And, you know, we, we're damaged on the hoplites again. But like I say, these guys are easy to retrain. So let's get them back to Memphis and retrain them all. So that army is fully destroyed, which is amazing. So we're going to come back into Memphis with the rest of them. We're going to obviously use as much as we can to retrain them but we're gonna drag a few drop a few as usual to try and make the retraining a little bit easier on us so let's go for that i'm gonna get again go round and see if i can get a few more pennies from cancelling some of the other stuff i want to keep the epibates in there let's cancel that i would rather retrain than build new units at this moment in time so, yeah, let's cancel a few of those. That should be quite a bit of cash to retrain these boys. Not quite enough. So, again, I might have to go around and scam some more money out of the AI. So, guys, I think we're going to leave it there. I've put all this army back together. I managed to scam enough money off the AI to retrain all of these boys, which is fantastic. We've got our third army up here ready to go. So, I'll put that there so Rain can see that one that's another army ready so that's why we're making so much less money we've also got all of these sieges going on down south and a siege of ellis at the minute which is pretty darn nice that should be quite fun for us and that should be a fantastic city to take going forward and yeah we're starting to you know expand our influence across the world <laughs> kind of so uh yeah it's it's going pretty darn well at the minute it's just just these full stacks over here just constantly <laughs> annoying us but i think if we've got two armies here we should be good to just keep on marching down the nile and just keep on taking more and more territory and some of these places are going to be pretty darn rich and especially if we take some gold from these settlements i wonder hmm, our spy's not got that much movement left let's have a look let's bring him over this way just so if we can see oh it's i it must be that settlement there, Hibis, which is pretty darn good. So let's go over there as well. Uh, but yeah, glorious episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy. So please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.